Hi, I'm Kurt Tarani and today I want to talk to you about the variety of capabilities that Oak Ridge National Laboratory offers for irradiation testing and post-irradiation examination of nuclear fuels and materials under the Nuclear Science User Facilities, NSUF. Irradiation and post-irradiation examination of nuclear fuels and materials requires a dedicated uh, infrastructure, requires expertise, and it's quite costly. This type of infrastructure and expertise is not available to the average industry and is not available to average university professor or university research groups, okay? And in fact, when I was a graduate student, I didn't have the means to go ahead and test my ideas by conducting radiation and post-irradiation experiments. Today, thanks to the Department of Energy, Office of Nuclear Energy, Nuclear Science User Facilities Program, managed out of Idaho National Laboratory, offers a variety of capabilities across the nation to do this type of activity. Now, Oak Ridge National Laboratory is a major partner facility in NSUF. At ORNL, we offer irradiation experiment design, neutron and gamma irradiation, pulse irradiation examination in a variety of hot cells depending on the, the radioactivity of your material that you're testing, and post hot cell examination in dedicated facilities for specialized characterization of irradiated fuels and materials. Now, the first step in an irradiation experiment and post-irradiation examination campaign is the design of the irradiation capsule and execution of the experiment in the high-flux isotope reactor. More often than not, the experiments that we end up building look very different than the initial concept proposed to us by the user. So uh, that means it's imperative that early on we engage with the user, we determine their constraints on geometry, on temperature, on dose rate, things like that, and then we can give them, we can educate them on our experience and what's worked and what has not to ultimately lead to the best possible experiment. Assuming this early interaction leads to a successful proposal, radiation engineers come in and we develop a mechanical design, a high fidelity thermal and neutronic model of the experiment, and we interact with users by giving them feedback on temperature gradients and things like that. We proceed to build, fabricate the experiment, deliver all the required paperwork to HIFER so that they accept the, the design and safety basis for your experiment. HIFER is an 85 megawatt research reactor with a very high neutron flux and a compact core. We are funded by the Office of Science, Basic Energy Sciences, to do neutron scattering. The NSUF has access to HIFRS core, in particular for neutron damage testing using HIFRS high neutron flux. In particular, the fast flux, which is around 100 times higher intensity than power reactors. In addition to neutron damage testing, we have developed a facility to do gamma irradiation testing using our spent fuel cores. We have a variety of spent fuel cores of different ages, which allow us to provide different dose rates to samples placed into our facility. Once the irradiation experiment is complete, we have to start the post-irradiation examination process. The first step in that process is to bring these materials to a hot cell facility and disassemble the irradiation capsules. These capsules may arrive from our test reactor here at Oak Ridge National Laboratory, the high flux isotope reactor, or from any test reactor in the United States or anywhere else in the world. There's at least six different hot cell facilities on site, but the ones primarily used for NSUF is the Irradiated Fuels Examination Laboratory and the Irradiated Materials Examination Laboratory. The difference between these two is the IFAL, or Irradiation Fuels uh, Laboratory, is used for fuels examinations and IMET is used for the structural materials examinations. So the IMET facility, or the Radiation Materials Examination and Testing Facility, is primarily devoted towards looking at structural materials. And in that context, we're interested in their mechanical performance. And so we have a wide range of different techniques to evaluate that mechanical performance, including uh, tensile testing, fracture toughness, fractography. One of the great things about the IMET facility is that you're capable of doing cell entries as well as adding in different components into the cell rapidly and quickly. One example of doing that is the different range of vision systems that we have in order to optically look at your different samples. And another example is that these facilities are low radiation facilities compared to other ones such as IFEL, where we can add in different techniques such as in-cell SEMs or uh, non-contact extensometer. The Radiated Fuels and Examination Laboratory is a little different than the IMET facility. Its uh, main purpose is to be looking at the integral fuel effects. And so we're trying to look at different uh, factors that are uh, important towards fuel performance, eventually to put those into different types of predictive models in the long run. And so in that context, we're looking at things like radionuclide release, we're looking at dimensional changes and doing microstructural examinations within the hot cell facility. 
As we just discussed, once you open your irradiation capsule inside a hot cell facility, you can do a variety of testing to get post-irradiation examination data from your specimens. That said, here at Oak Ridge, we are not happy to just stop just there. We want to go ahead and do quite a bit more and take advantage of the latest generation characterization tools. These tools are not suitable for hot cell utilization. So what we do instead is that we prepare miniature specimens and we take these specimens out and take them to these types of equipment. This, this type of equipment is, is available across a variety of laboratories here at ORNL. A great example of it is the Low Activation Materials Development and Analysis Laboratory, Lambda. So within the Lambda Laboratory, we receive your samples from the hot cells, and then we have experienced technicians who will then photograph your specimens, decontaminate them, perform dimensional inspection, and then do simple preparation for advanced characterization techniques and also mechanical property analysis. The reason we bring the samples out of the hot cells is so we can perform in situ and advanced characterization techniques in our Lambda Laboratory. Examples of this include thermal desorption spectroscopy analysis and scanning transmission electron microscopy, including uh, electron backscatter diffraction and energy dispersive spectroscopy. This allows users to look at their materials over a wide range of length scales, which can then provide information to uh, lower length scale modeling codes to validate those codes. Finally, a core capability of the Lambda Laboratory is the development of a thermal physical property database for radiator materials. I hope we've given you a flavor of the kind of capabilities and expertise we can offer to you here at Oak Ridge National Laboratory under the Nuclear Science User Facilities Program. It's worthwhile noting that NSUF is a big national program. There's a number of partner facilities involved. Therefore, you can do the entirety of your irradiation and post-irradiation experiment here with us at ORNL, or you can do only portions of it in partnership with the other facilities. Having access to the laboratory through the NSUF project goes beyond just the infrastructure and equipment that's available to you. You also have the staff available to you. So you have a wide range of expertise, both on the technical level and on uh, more for collaboration and research purposes. People are there who can teach you how to do a technique you may not be as familiar with, but they're also there for you to discuss with them about their ideas and what you think uh, you should move forward with on your project. Remember, NSUF is about giving you access to our capabilities and expertise at ORNL. Myself and the staff at ORNL are here to guide you throughout the proposal development process and experiment execution process. We want to position you to succeed and squeeze the maximum amount of science out of your experiments.